Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph. I am a lover of all things makeup, especially colourful. Um, today, I thought I'd do a chatty get ready with me. I have a whole bunch of products that I have had sat around that I haven't tried out yet. So uh, it's an almost full face of first impressions. Um, but yeah, so let's get on into this. Um, first, I'm gonna put on just my Pixie Skin Blurring Beauty Elixir from Barry M, um, just because I'm going to be trying out a new foundation. So, let's get the hair out of the way. Excuse this skin. Um, it's still really playing up. I'm not sure if it's because of the amount of painkillers and whatever I'm on or, or what, because they have um, put me on an even higher dose of painkillers. So if I am all over the fairies, don't make much sense, um, which I know I don't usually anyway, um, but that's why. So put on that on. Um, right, first new product to try out. So yeah, I'm getting ready just to sit on my sofa and watch True Blood because there's not much else I can do with myself at the moment because uh, I can't move around too easily. Um, but the foundation I'm trying is the KVD um, Vegan Beauty Lock It Foundation. I've got the shade Medium Neutral 56, so I am hoping that it is the right shade. Wow, that is, that's thick. Ooh. Okay, so let's, fingers crossed, it is the correct colour. Oh wow, this, this stuff is like paint. I think this has to be the thickest foundation I have ever tried. But, it's going on quite nicely. Definitely a little on the dark side, but yeah, we can make that work. It's all good. It's all good. Let's have a look and see if, what it covers here. Okay, that the coverage on this is amazing. I think it sits it sits really nice on the skin. But I am amazed at how thick this is. I'm definitely going to need to brighten up the under eyes but I don't actually feel like I need any concealer at all which uh, is a bit surprising okay let's see what the claims are on this um, so 24 hour wear full coverage transfer resistant matte finish um don't know so much about the the map finish well, I don't know I can feel it on my face and uh yeah it's definitely not transfer resistant yet but we shall see so I'm just grabbing my elf 16 hour camo concealer in medium sand um just to Trying to lighten up a little bit here. Right, let's have a see. Can we uh, can we make this work? Okay, I think we can. Yeah, it's looking like we can make this work. Phew. Okay, I think we've uh, 
rescued that. All right, let's shove some powder on. Um, just sticking with my RCMA no color powder um, because I love it. And my new powder that I have to try hasn't ooh, hasn't turned up yet. So, so how many of you are interested in this new Beetlejuice? collection oh the one with melt i watched annette's uh, video this morning um she got the whole pr baggage and it's only made me want things more well what i really want is the recently deceased palette um because uh i am a massive green fan i'm also a massive beetlejuice fan but the rest of the collection looks amazing. But being in the UK, $350 plus the shipping, plus the, uh, well, I don't think they charge shipping over $100, do they? But the customs are going to be like at least half of that again. So you're looking probably around, oh, here. Yeah five to six hundred pound uh which there is no way in hell i can afford that so uh that is not going to be happening unfortunately okay it powders down really nice yeah you can definitely see i'm wearing foundation i wouldn't say it's a natural finish by a long shot but It covers everything <laughs> let's just see how long it lasts so yeah with the uh, Beetlejuice collection what are you guys planning on getting if anything um are you interested in it let me know in the description box below it'd be interesting to see what everyone else uh, is looking at getting right I've completely lost where I am at eyebrows right eyebrows I have picked up the Catrice 3D Brow Two-Tone Pomade Waterproof. Um, it's in the shade medium to dark and you've got one side that's lighter and one side that's darker. I have uh, kind of did something in it to have a look at the colour. But, so I'm guessing we go for the dark first. So let's have a see. Okay, it's not it's very creamy formula which uh, worries me a bit because uh, those ones don't tend to last so well on my oily skin yeah, I wouldn't say it's the easiest to apply either it's almost like when I go over it it's taking it off I can't seem to get the colour to stick here. It really doesn't want to play ball. Yeah, I don't know how much of a fan I am of this formula. But, let's have a a dip into the lighter one and uh, see what happens here you see that just looks a bit grey that it's gonna have to do i'm just gonna quickly do the other one okay um i am not a fan of that brow pomade i was so expecting to love it as well um 
it's really difficult to use it's a really kind of creamy gel like formula that doesn't like laying on top of itself it just seems to like i don't know slip around um so yeah i think this is the best that we're getting for brows today not too bad but yeah don't love that <laughs> how sad <laughs> That makes me really sad. I really, really, really wanted to love that. Um, right. So next, let's get a bit of contour. Um, so guys, I have been obviously being stuck in and not able to really do much due to the pain i have gotten into true blood again i started watching it years ago um, and i can't even remember why i stopped probably life got busy but i started watching it and uh i am hooked i am so hooked so if you like kind of vampire fantasy things, I love it. And my favourite character at the moment is Lafayette. He is so funny. He is so funny. I love him. I've got hair on my nose. So have any of you seen True Blood? It's, uh, it's definitely not what you kind of expect. I think I am thoroughly enjoying it. I've also been watching a lot of um, YouTube, like catching up with my friends' YouTube videos that I've missed. Um, The only problem I've got is half the time I'm so high as a kite on painkillers I can't even remember what I've watched. But I've managed to remember that I watched Annette's uh, Beetlejuice collection video this morning. I think that's because I watched that just before I started filming. Uh, if uh, I'll, I'll link uh, Annette's video in the description box below so you can go check it out. Um, because I think she did a great job of uh, showing off all the products. We're looking really dark today. <laughs> really, really dark. Hmm. Do we even need a bit of bronze? Yeah, I think we need a bit of warmer colour, don't we? Yeah, I've completely forgotten what I was talking about now. But that's a story of my life at the moment. But I prefer the not being with it to the being in so much pain that I'm crying. That's definitely a winner. Let's blend this a bit. And my nose kind of went in a bit harsh there. Okay, so I had to take a break to take some painkillers and wait for them to kick in a bit and I started priming my eyes chatting away to you guys and then realized I wasn't filming <laughs> so uh, I've primed my eyes with the putty elf putty eye primer and cream um, yeah that was meant to be on camera I was chatting away about TV shows asking if uh, you guys had any suggestions of any good series to watch um anyways i don't know where i was at then um so i got this for my birthday peachy queen i have been so desperate to try peachy queen obviously with it being an american indie brand not easy to get hold of but i got this for my birthday and this is the viper queen and this is what she looks like how beautiful 
is that and I think we all know I'm heading in with the blues greens and yellows um, because it's me and uh, yeah <laughs> that's kind of how I how I roll so first I'm going to take this yellow here venom and pop that oh I don't need that mirror anymore this one's got one Ooh. I don't know how I didn't notice that. So anyways, a um, little bit of kick up. Oh, quite a lot of kick up. And I'm just going to be placing this one on my inner corner. Come on, build up. If it doesn't go on with a massive amount of pigment, but it's a yellow. That's not too bad though. Not too bad. So yeah, what what have you guys been watching recently? Is there anything like really good that I need to check out? I'm really packing this on because uh it really needs building up this colour. It really needs building up. I recently watched um, Lie to Me. I don't know if any of you have seen that. That programme was, I loved that. Absolutely loved it. Basically, the guy can read the body language of people and he knows when they're lying. And uh, it's it's brilliant. Some of the scrapes he gets himself into um, are just hilarious. Um, I really really enjoyed that that program, and uh, would definitely recommend that. I can't even remember what I watched that on. Um, hmm. Amazon Prime maybe. Um, Anyways, <laughs> I uh, I love anything like that. Um, I don't know. Um, some of you are probably aware, but I'm uh, I I'm doing a psychology degree, so I study psychology, and uh, I'm fascinated by anything like that. So that program was uh, yeah, really really good. Right, what brush do I want? Okay, so I'm not sure whether I want to go in with Dangerous or In the Grass. I think I might go in with In the Grass. So this one, oh, there's one here. Let's see what that does. There's not quite as much kick up with this one. It's quite a nice colour though. This palette I don't think they sell anymore, sadly, but it's so nice to be able to get to try out the formula of uh, different brands. I mean, it just kind of gives you an inkling as to whether or not you want to try more from them so do any of you guys have any experience with peachy queen and how did you find them what do you think of the formula i have to say it's blended really nice with that yellow and it is when you build it up it is a really Really nice colour. I'd say it's pretty true to to pan once you've built it up. It does take a bit of building though. But yeah, that's that's nice. I'm gonna take that a bit further over actually. Let's blend you a bit further over.
my hair is driving me nuts but I am unable to tie it up for myself <laughs> and there's no one here to do it for me so never mind never mind yeah I do really like that colour really like that colour okay so now I'm going in with this blue to deepen up it's called Hiss and uh, let's okay that's got less kick up I don't want to kind of blend it in too much and make it too muddy but I do want it to blend a bit I don't know how much sense I'm making there that's a nice blue actually that's a really nice blue so like I was saying at the beginning I have got so much stuff that I've kind of been collecting over the last couple of months or so that I haven't tried yet so I think you can probably expect a few more kind of at least kind of almost full face of first impressions um chatty get ready with me I do like a chatty get ready with me I think it's uh I think it's kind of a, a nice opportunity to sit down and, and chat with people, especially for me at the moment, because I spend most of my time on my own. All right, I think I'm going to actually blend that out with the yellow venom. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I'm liking that. I don't like the shade of my eyebrows though. I'm really not liking the eyebrow pomade at all. I think they they look kind of, I don't know, almost like a charcoal grey. Not loving it at all. Um, hmm. <laughs> so yeah, right, where was I at? I think next I want to I've got I can't talk I picked up the NYX glitter primer to try out and um, everyone's been raving about so I'm going to pop a bit of this on my brush apparently you don't need a lot so let's see what this does Okay, can't really judge much based on just application, but it's pretty easy to apply. I guess a glitter glue is a glitter glue. So let's grab, all right, let's decide what we want to do. I think I want to go in with snake pet on the outer side of my lid and then snake bites on the inner parts so let's see what this does oh okay so this is snake pet Oh, this is a pretty colour. Okay. Now that looks brighter on the lid than it does 
in the pan. Definitely. It looks like a definitely looks like a darker green in the pan. But this is very very pretty. And then next going in with snake bites, the uh the lighter one up the top. Ooh. That's almost like a, a minty green. It does look really nice next to that um snake pet. There is a couple of specks of fallout, but I'm loading my brush up. That's pretty. Oh, I do like that. So I think for the inner corner and brow bone, there's only really one option here, and that is this shade here, Poisonous. So I'm going to pop that on my inner corner. I might actually just pop a bit of glitter glue my inner corner just to make sure it's got the best chance of some sticking right and glitter glue on so just going into this one poisonous and I'm just going to pop that oh well oh wow that's uh that's one bright shade <laughs> wow okay and then just put in a little oh a lot of bit up here That's nice. That's really nice. I'm just going to take this one here just to kind of blend them together a little bit. So I picked up this uh, collection Glam Crystals in Dazzling Gel Liner in cosmic stars um i know make me up missa raves about these so i thought i'd give it a go i picked this up ages ago and completely forgot i had it so i want to try putting this just along the edge here just to add a little bit of a sparkle. Ooh. So I'm going to nip off camera just to finish my eyes. Um, I haven't got a new mascara. Um, I do have some new lashes to try. These are from Artitude Cosmetics. They're in the style Rebel. So these ones here. I've already cut them to size ready. So I shall let be sticking those on with the... Artitude Cosmetics Catitude. It's the uh, eyeliner and lash glue in one. 
sorry, the uh, the brain's not working so well. So I'm going to nip off camera, get my eyes finished and then come back with you to do the rest of the face. So don't go anywhere. I am back, eyes finished. Um, I am loving these lashes. They look so... They're, they're big, they're like statement lashes and I love them. They're, so they're the Artitude Cosmetics uh, lashes in the Style Rebel. Um, yeah, I love them. I did pop some of the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Go Green in my waterline. Um, because I enjoy it and I thought it would really really go the earrings I have are from Amy's accessories um, again I'll link her details in the description box below um, so moving on blush now I was very fortunate that um, my friend Nikki Raven um, tagged me in a post on Instagram for this new indie brand UK indie brand Pout and Shout Pout and Shout. <laughs> um, so yeah, she's um, a, a lovely lady called Maria and she uses um, upcycled, recycled um, packaging and paints them herself. Look at that. So this blush is Chatty Cathy, Heck the Hairball Angels Sing. Love it. And this is the colour of this blush. So let's have a see. Ooh, there's quite some pigment there. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh, I like that. See, currently, Pout and Shout is only on Instagram. Um, very, very new indie brand. This is very pigmented. Very, very new brand. Um, she has literally just started out. And I have a couple of her blushes. Let me just find the other one to show you. Um, the other one I have I don't know if I've gone blurry there, is Typhoid Mary, Stay Home, Save Nine Lives, um, brilliant. And this is the colour of this blush. Um, so yeah, I've got that one to try at some point too. Um, this one looks amazing very very pigmented and very blendable I wow sorry I know I'm probably putting too much on but wow I am loving the color of this blush look at that that's so pretty wow pout and shout this I'm loving. I am really loving. And for a first first product, amazing. Having said that, I also do have the highlighter in Happy Glow Lucky. It is the Lucky Black Cat. And it's a very kind of icy one. So we are going to give this a go. Are you ready? Ooh. That's nice. Oh, okay. That's a really nice highlight. So I got this one because um I don't have any really icy highlighters obviously i can use um eyeshadows from some palettes Ooh, doesn't leave a cast definitely leaves a shine just put a bit more there 
I'm always adding a bit more. But can you see that shine? Oh, okay. Wow, pout and shout. Very, very impressed. Very, very impressed. Not that I wasn't expecting them to be great, but obviously being a, just blend that in, a uh, very new brand, you never know what to expect, do you? And uh, wow. Yep, big thumbs up. Really, really love that. And now for lips, I do have, this has also been sat in my drawer for quite a while. It is from We Cosmetics and it is the Ever Liquid Lipstick in the shade 10. 10. So let's have a see. Yeah, I really like that actually. It's really comfortable. I don't think it's uh, completely dried down yet, but that's uh, it feels really comfortable and I really love that colour. Oh, and I nearly forgot I have some really, really exciting news. I don't know how I've forgotten until now to tell you, but um, I won a giveaway from Makeup by Tammy Cosmetics and I have won the full collection of the uh, K-Kit liners and uh, the water activated ones and the uh, liner brush set. So uh, I'll stick a picture up here. So, wow, I never win anything. I enter all of the giveaways that I see, obviously that I want to win. Um, I enter so many and I couldn't believe it when I had this notification that Makeup by Tammy Cosmetics has uh, mentioned you in their story. And I was like, oh, how do they even know who I am? So I had a look and I was like, oh my God, I've won. Wow. So uh, you will definitely see those coming up soon. Um, and also, speaking of liners, I have one of the new ones from Artitude Cosmetics in shade Harmony which is a kind of deep forest green. So that will be coming at some point too. Um, so yeah, how exciting, I actually won something. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. Um, I hope uh, you've enjoyed this. If you have, then please give me a thumbs up, like the video, it really helps me out. Um, if you're new around here, then I hope you'll consider sticking around and subscribing. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload next. So yeah, that's uh, that's about it from me today. Um, pretty much impressed with everything I tried except for the eyebrow pomade, which um, is a dud. I'm sorry. For me, it's a dud. So my eyebrows just look ashy and I don't love it. It wasn't easy to apply. Um, so yeah, I think that's the only, the only dud. Pretty impressive. So yeah, on that note, <laughs> I shall, uh, say goodbye and thank you so much for joining me today and i will see you again very very soon goodbye